Uh, this one here is really special. It's by Jack Logan. It's a, a cool Peterbilt. And uh, this is, <laughs> I hope you heard the uh, the conversation with Jack and I. Uh, but this Peterbilt, it's all done black and orange, long nose peat. Uh, really cool. The license plate says, I know Jack, which I thought was really cool. It's all done in orange. He's a real Harley guy. So everything's orange, custom black leather inside, uh, lots of chrome switches, a whole bit. And uh, the the it in his sleeper is he's taken out the bed and he's put a couple cool chairs in there and because uh, he he does movie sets he's on movie sets for a long time and hand, is the road manager for movie sets so he does this but what really was cool was the trailer too he's got a trailer here um, that has a bar in it <laughs> and a lounge area and a drum set and like man this <laughs> this is you know if you gotta have a truck. So my truck is, we like to call it my Johnny Cash project. It was built one piece at a time. Yeah. And uh, it's an 87, 97, 07, 2, 11, 13, 14, and 15. We've mashed it all together. I had some really creative people with some really, really good talents. They cut it in half. They stretched it for me. We got a 328-inch wheelbase. It's never going to work again. It's just our toy yeah, yeah. that we come to these functions with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never want to take away from the show and shine that, you know, the Skillex guys, uh, Iva in in uh, in trans are in uh, West Coast, uh, Scotland. All these big carriers are here. These guys work their asses off all week. Yeah. Polish at their downtime, they're here. Yeah. They're the ones that need to get the awards for supporting this kind of stuff yeah. and coming out to these truck shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, I just wanted to build something cool <laughs> so that I could come park here in the front row with a smile on my face. <laughs> Pound my chest and go, <laughs> look at me. Yes. That's cool. Okay, i got to ask you about your trailer because you have my dream trailer. It's it's actually a bar. How, how do you make a man cave out of your trailer? What Tell us about your trailer. Well, that trailer we had on a TV show a long time ago. It's a 1971 Great Dane Reefer. A uh, fellow by the name of Jerry Thompson. Uh, yeah. Thomas built it from Thomas Truck and Trailer. Right. And he used to sell model railway trains. So the inside was already pretty much done. I had to make it my, I had to, I like to call it jack built. I had to jack it up a little bit. And uh, so we put in a bar, took the bed out of the bunk of the truck, put the bed in the trailer, and we got a bar, a couple lazy boy chairs, cooler full of beer, and of course our famous midget stripper pole. <laughs> I love it. Sign me up. I don't know how I get into that. Uh, you know, how, do you get paid a lot for that kind of trucking or what? Well, it doesn't pay well, but the, the fringe benefits of meeting people like you and, and all the other glorious people that yeah, come yeah, to yeah. these events. At the end of the day, we usually have a cold pop yeah. at the bar and talk truck driving stories. And, and uh, everybody's got, uh, you know, a story to tell because yeah. we've got, if you look around this parking lot right now, there's probably collectively about four bazillion miles sitting here yeah, that's right. amongst all the drivers. Yeah, so yeah, there's yeah. some tall tales to tell. <laughs> that's right. Jack, thank you for your time. I know you got some MC duties. I'm going to let you get to them. Thanks for your time. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you and talk with you. And I'm looking forward to having one of them beers one of those times. We will have one. Hopefully.